to solve the following equation. So these equations are what we call linear equations. So previously, in chapter 4, you have learned how to simplify, but this chapter, you will be asked to solve. So when you see the word solve, that means you have to find a value, find the value to your unknown. Okay, so let's say your unknown is x, you have to find a value to it. Okay, or y. Alright, so that is your aim. Okay, so let's look at the first question. I have x plus 8 equals to 9. So based on the video you have watched, uh, you have to treat this equation like a balancing scale. So my aim, remember, is to find the value of x, right? So I will have to remove 8 from the equation. So what I do is I remove 8 by subtracting 8 on the left hand side so if i do it on the left hand side i also have to do it to the right hand side Oops. so i have to minus 8 on the right hand side so you minus the same number on both sides. Okay, so now you have successfully uh, subtracted 8. So this part here will give you 0. So x plus 0 equals to 9 minus 8 gives you 1. So 8x is equals to 1. Okay, this way you have solved x. Right. Okay, this is a very simple example. Um, you can pause here and try part B on your own. Okay, now let's take a look at part C. I have x minus 9. So now instead of deducting 9 again, what should you do? Okay, I hope you got it. Okay, so instead of like what I did in 1a, I minus 8. Now I should plus 9 because that's the only way to get rid of negative 9. So I plus 9 on both sides. Okay. This part here, I'll get 0. Okay. And then x plus 9, eight, I mean 5 plus 9 is 14. So x is 14. Okay, one way to check your answer is to substitute x equals to 14 into the equation. So x is 14, right? Let me just put in 14 minus 9. Key in the calculator, you get 5. So you know that x, this x here, is definitely 14. Okay, so you, again, you can pause here and try part B on your own. There are solutions at the back of the paper. So once you're done, you can just check. Make sure that you truly understand the concept. Okay, so here's a video. Anytime you're unsure, just pause, digest, try to understand. If not, you can always WhatsApp me and ask for help. Okay, so for part E, I have X divided by 2 equals to 3. How do I get rid of this 2 here? Okay, so it's divided by 2, right? I think of my opposite sign. So divide, I think of times. So the only way to get rid of this over 2 is to times 2 on both sides. Okay, times 2 on both sides. So x over 2 times 2, I will get x equals to 6. Yes, that's my answer. So again, I can check 
by substituting x equals to 6 into my equation again. 6 divided by 2, I should get 3. So I know I am definitely correct. Okay, let me try maybe two more questions and I'll let you try the rest on your own. So this is 4 times x. You should be thinking of dividing by 4 on both sides. So get x equals to 24 divided by 4, 6. So again to check, I put in 6, 4 times 6, I should get my right hand side, 24. So that's correct. Okay, one last question. Okay, decimals or not, don't be intimidated. Just do the same thing as what you have done. So you see a plus here, you minus 1.5. On both sides. So x so this part here you have successfully eliminated 1.5 you get x only okay, I should write here. sorry x plus 0 equals to what is 4 minus 1.5, 2.5, so x is 2.5, okay, I will stop here and let you try the rest on your own, like what I said, decimal fractions, doesn't matter, don't be intimidated, try the same method, remember balancing is the skill, Okay, so if you were to do something on the left hand side, you have to do the same on the right hand side. So basically, left hand side, right hand side, to do the same on both sides to find the value of x. Okay, go on and complete page 3 and 4 and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!